All parties in the matter, Woods versus Smith. Step forward. 22-year-old Sydney Woods is suing her ex-boyfriend, Sean Smith, for moving expenses, truck fees, and a broken lease. Miss Woods, the defendant was your boyfriend, and you were living in one state. He got a job in another state, and according to your complaint, his job was a very good one. You had a job where you were living, but you decided to move with him to this new state. Which new state was he going to? Ohio. Ohio. And you had been living in? North Carolina. Okay. You have a child. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you had a job at the time. Yes, ma'am. And you were living together in North Carolina. Yes, ma'am. How long had you been living together? About a year. So Mr. Smith got a new job, and the new job, in addition to making more money, according to you, gave him a relocation fee. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. How much was the relocation fee? 5000 And when did you get that? About four days after we moved in. It is your claim, two things. A, that you signed a lease with him together when you moved in. That, that whole thing didn't last very long. Correct. You left and just were notified that you stuck with the lease, so you want him to be responsible for that. And you also claim that you paid for the moving costs with his assurance that when he got the moving bonus that he would reimburse you. That's your claim. Yes, ma'am. When did you move? In what month? October 31st. When did your new job start, Mr. Smith? October 31st. It was on a Monday. And how much did the move cost you? $550. And how much of that $550, Mr. Smith, did you pay? When we moved, it, it, was, it wasn't something that I should reimburse. We made the decision to move together. No, no, that's not what I'm asking you. That wasn't my question. My question is, if the move cost $500, I assume you have bills for that? Yes, ma'am. The move cost $550. My question is, how much of that did you pay? Oh, we, we paid out of pocket for each. It's what not does that mean? It's not something that she paid for alone. Well, I'd like to see your bills for the move. Yes, ma'am. That's going to be 300 And here it's going to be another one as well. What's point of sale debit? What does that mean? It is under there, it's the Havenwood townhomes. I paid the $300 deposit down on the place before we actually moved. They took out $100 to start off and once we got approved, they took out another 200. That's for the lease, we... The deposit for the lease, yes ma'am. And what was the other $250 for? That was the money my mother had loaned me for the U-Haul and I had paid her back. And it was in our agreement that he would pay me back for the both when he got the $5,000, which he did not get back four days after we moved. It was a we few didn't, weeks. We didn't agree for me to pay her back. You moved October 31st. When did you move home? I moved home on December 15th. So you were there six weeks? Yes, ma'am. Now, what did you do with the $5,000 moving after, expenses? After taxes, it was, it was around 3000 I used that to pay the bills, first month's rent, you know, everything. Okay. Uh, help with appliances. And Just a second. Yes. You did that to pay first month's rent. Right. Did you pay any part of the rent the first month? Our first month's rent was free. We did not have to pay anything because we had moved at the, I guess the last of the month, we did not have to pay anything until December. So it went to pay December's rent, but you already started working October 31st. Yes. According to you. That was my first day. It was just uh Well, that's okay. okay. You paid October 31st. How often do you get paid in this job? Every two weeks? Every two weeks. So that they, you got two paychecks. That, Listen to me carefully. You got two paychecks by the time December's rent floated around. I'm asking you what you did with the $5,000.